We are transferring. Going down. With our new level. Back to here again. By the way, warp. That'll get me out of an area quickly. Expensive on those energy points, though. And once again, our friends still haven't learned. Yeah, I should jump and slash. It'd be the best way to avoid those guys. Or kill them. Doesn't matter to the Strider. Because Hyru is on his way to open S3. Stupid security gates aside. Oh dear. I'm not getting hit by enemy bullets already. Yep. So, it's an easy way to not die as I slide down the tunnel. And our friend ED209 did quite a number on our health. Or my health, I should say. By butting his gun against my head. That hurt. It hurt my ego more than anything. So I could farm here. And hope for energy pills. But I think for some reason these guys aren't going to get me any. So instead, infinite spawning aside. I'm not quite sure what's coming up next. But it can't be good. If a whole bunch of the enemy is coming at me. Oh dear. Ah. I can't jump today. I can't jump for Fiddle Fudge. Thank goodness for medical. 20 health points for 10 energy. I'm gonna run out fast, aren't I? That looks to be the way back up. And wouldn't you know, it leads me back up. On the positive side, I can restore some of my health. Ahem, being a little more cautious this time. Let's take a lower path. I'm not falling for your tricks again. Instead, you know what happens when the screen goes purple. Another Zane. Another evil square thing. And it drops more dangerous, faster bullets at me. And once again, it's up to us to do our victory jump. You know, for a dangerous mind-controlling weapon, it really isn't that dangerous. Speaking of which... File number five is mine. And I get a free warp out of here. Fantastic! So, for disc number five, tell me my fortune. Oh, Mr. Fascius Clay. There's something about that name. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. We're not here to protect Zane. We're here to destroy Zane. Our commander's a hack. Well, it's time to go back to Africa. Wasn't I there before? Nope. Well, off to Africa. Where in Africa? I don't know. Probably 
the northern part, Egypt. That is some kind of jungle, what the heck? Jungle or forest? I don't remember there being any jungles or forests in Africa. I could be wrong though. Oh dear, crocodiles. Good thing we have walk on water boots. I know, that makes no sense. Nope, I can't slash crocodiles. That is against protocol, Magma. Slashing the wildlife. Those crocodiles hurt, by the way. Oh dear. That guy thought he had the most brilliant plan of all time. Hang by his feet, then attack me. Bungie attacking, if you will. And birds. It just had to be birds. If your name is Rue, you always have to deal with those birds. So staying high might be a good idea. I don't mean on drugs though. That's your discretion. Also, I should have healed myself for gra before grabbing that energy pill. Oh dear, I don't want to go down. I want to stay up here. And party with my friends. But these aren't my friends. Oh sure, is that what they told you back in Strider class? Also, I've never heard of birds that explode. We have a new ability, ability of ground. I'm not using it. One, well, I frankly don't remember what it does. And two, I frankly don't have the energy to do it. And three, I think I need back up there. So allow me to jump. And now I can jump better. I can jump more better. Not sure for how long, but I have that feeling. It's not purple this time, but it does lead us to a wintry subterranean area. Also jumping. Must make those jumps, else you get the spikes. And have to go back up the turbo tunnel. Stop shooting me, it's not polite. Although dropping your medicine is polite. Dropping energy is polite. Dealing with moving platforms is also not polite. So staying up high is always the best option. Oop. Energy pill. I should heal myself. The music is slowing down, because it knows I'm gonna cause trouble. Also, can I get, the, get up there? Could there possibly be a secret up there? 45 minutes later... I don't think it's happening. One shot, seriously. That's all you had to do. The spider bomber is at it again. And Falcon out of nowhere. 
Hi, I'd like you to meet my new friend, Falcon out of nowhere. Making sure I'm not waiting for a platform. And once again, I am walking on water. Much like a messiah did. Much like a savior or a martyr did. Kinda redundant though. It's just so they could use the as enemies again. We can also walk on water, so it's not a big deal, really. Clunky jumping mechanics aside, it's another platforming part. Anybody who says they love moving platforms must be an evil villain. I really like platformers. So here we are up again. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Oops, I seem to have gone in a roundabout way. Allow me to check my resources one quick moment. Patience this time. Patience is required. For I'm losing my sanity already. After getting past Mr. Sparky again, I'm at these two platforms. Where it's a matter of bump and jump. And down the tube. Yay! It looks like another purple area. And you all know what that means. More Zane. With our friend. Who's getting a lot faster. Not sure if you want to use plasma or not. For some reason, I can't. What the heck? I never knew that. You can't use plasma again. This, this thing. I guess that'd make it too easy. But once again, our victory jumping. Make short work after defeating Mr. Square Box. And for rewards, our sixth and final data disc. And get us out of here. Thank you, transition effect. And I'm running a little high on time right now. So in the next video, we'll analyze disc number six. And check out why our commander betrayed us.